What is up everybody? It's your boy Arx Perio and welcome back to another video here on Ascension's Dimension. So in this video today, we're going to be going over what we call our range of motion mobility drill sequences. And these exercises are essential to be doing before you even get started with your workout. So why are they important? These, the purpose of these drills are to target the main joints and ligaments in your body that you may use or that you will most likely use during a training session to properly warm them up and prevent any potential injury uh, to occur. All right, so the range of motion drills consists of about 13 exercises and they are neck circles, neck extensions going from side to side, neck extensions going from up to down. We're gonna be doing some shoulder figure eights some shoulder passovers, some shoulder hangs, as well as hip twists, hip circles, knee extensions, straight leg extensions, straight leg extensions going from side to side, and some ankle drills with ankle circles and ankle extensions. So with that, let's get into the actual exercises and I can show you how to do them properly and how many reps. So let's go. All right, you guys. So let's get started with the actual drills, okay? So with that, our first exercise is gonna be our neck drills, and we're gonna start with 10 neck circles going in each direction, okay? Make sure you get that deep stretch, really turn your neck around and try to loosen it up, and let's go. go into our neck extensions going from side to side make sure you turn your head as deep as possible to get that full stretch let's go our neck mobility drills. Now let's get into our shoulder mobility, okay? So now, with your shoulders, you need some sort of an object to keep your arms straight and tight in order to do a lot of the exercises. So I personally, we found a bamboo stick that's nice and firm uh, in our neighborhood. However, you can use anything from a PVC pipe to a towel that's long enough to a resistance band or a broomstick, anything that you might have that will allow you to keep your arms straight and to be able to perform these exercises. So with that, let's get into our first shoulder drill, which is gonna be figure eights, okay? So with the figure eights, you're gonna keep the bar in front of you at about stomach height. You're gonna keep your arms nice and straight. And then you're going to bring the, you're gonna start with the right side and bring it up over your and behind your head so that it's touching your back. And then you're gonna bring the other side from the back over to the front of your head, creating that figure eight shape. So with that, we're gonna be doing 10 for each side. And let's get to it. Side. 
the next drill is going to be passovers. So same thing, keep your arms spread width apart, start from your stomach height, and then all you're going to do is keeping your arms straight, you're going to bring the bar up over your head and touching your back. And then you're going to bring it back from the back to your of your head to the front, okay? Keep those arms straight, get those shoulders really nice and loose, and another 10. Let's go. Perfect. All right, the next one's gonna be shoulder hangs. Now you're gonna do this one for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna set my timer. You're gonna take the, you're gonna take your bar, you're gonna bring it to your back, you're gonna keep your legs shoulder width apart, and you're simply going to bend forward and bring the bar up over your head as far as you can until you feel that nice stretch in your shoulder, and you're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. So with that, I'm gonna start my timer, and let's go. So now we're gonna get into our next exercise. Now these are called hip twists, okay? So you're gonna take your bar, and you're gonna put it on your shoulders. Nice, keep it nice and sturdy. Put your legs at about shoulder width apart as if you're gonna do a squat. And then you're simply going to twist to the side, bringing your back foot up just a little bit and get that nice deep stretch in your hip. Come back to the center and repeat to the other side. Make sure you keep your legs nice and tight so that way you don't fall off balance, but you do get that nice deep stretch in your hip. So with that, we're gonna do another 10 repetitions each side. Let's start. circles okay so again legs shoulder width apart you can put your hands on your hips and then you're just gonna get some nice deep hip circle stretches keeping your shoulders your back nice and straight keeping your legs and your glutes nice and tight but get as deep of a stretch as possible okay so with that we're gonna do another 10 repetitions each side okay let's go gonna get into our legs okay now if your balance isn't great then feel feel more than welcome to use something to support yourself I'm still working on my balance so I'm gonna grab my bar again and use it as a little bit of support okay so our first exercise are gonna be knee extensions so you're gonna just keep your knee up you're gonna bring it back as far as you can go and then you're gonna bring it up to your chest as high as you can go getting a nice stretch in your hamstrings 
and in your quads. So with that, we're gonna do 10 repetitions each leg. Let's begin. Next, we're gonna go into straight leg extensions, okay? So, as the name suggests, you're gonna keep your legs straight, bring it back as far as you can go, and then kick it up as far as you can go, okay? Another 10 repetitions each side. Let's go. exercise for our upper legs are our straight leg extensions but going from side to side now this can be a tricky exercise but bear with me because it truly does feel like one of the best ones okay so with that if you need your support keep it nice in front of you what you're gonna do is that you're gonna put your legs straight like you were doing before but instead of going straight in front of you you're gonna go from side to side bringing that leg to the left, directly in front of you, and then kicking it out to the right, getting a nice deep stretch in your inner leg and in your groin. So with that, we're gonna do 10 repetitions each leg. Let's begin. leg drills now let's wrap up our range of motion mobility sequences with our ankles so with our ankles we're gonna be doing ankle circles and ankle extensions so use your support if you need it bring your leg up and for the we're gonna start with ankle circles okay so you're gonna do nice deep ankle stretches making sure that you really feel those ankles move and those joints pop a little bit shows that you're getting a nice deep stretch and we're going to do 10 repetitions each side so with that let's begin other direction Remember, 10 each side. Let's go. Other direction. All right, and we're gonna wrap up with some ankle extensions, okay? Again, 10 repetitions each ankle. We're gonna start, you're gonna point your toes out to the floor as far as possible, and then you're gonna point them back up to the sky as far as possible, okay? Get that nice deep stretch. Let's start with that 10. up our range of mobility drills now we do suggest that you do this if you can
can at the beginning of every single workout session. I promise and guarantee you that you won't regret it. Feel free to do this as many times as possible. However, we like to recommend anywhere from one to three times to really get those joints and those muscles and those ligaments warmed up and ready for the work that you're gonna do, okay? So with that, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for our next video. Take care and peace.